Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Clan. Today we'll be talking about a huge update that links Hedera to the telecommunications giant Samsung. On the 27th of December, the HBAR Foundation tweeted insights as to why Metaverse decided to leverage the Hedera network over other DLT offerings. I know you had mentioned things like sustainability as important to your choice of Hedera, but I'd love to hear if there's any other of those key drivers, whether it's from a technology perspective or accessibility perspective that, that motivated that choice in addition to what you mentioned as well. Yeah, I think actually there was a number of things. The, the first being the environmental impact, that was great, but also transaction speeds. Transaction speeds is important. If you're gonna do things at a global scale, you can't have a thousand transactions a second globally. That's, that's not useful to anybody. So you, you have to have, you know, Visa and MasterCard level scale for that. The other thing is trust. If you're going to use a proof of stake network, you damn well better trust the people staking the network because there's room for horrible things to go wrong there if the if you don't trust those people. But when you look at the companies that have backed this thing, it is like the who's who of the top enterprise companies in the world, the people that, that we trust with our cars, with our internet, with our everything, uh, you know, our, our medical, our energy. You know, uh, we trust these companies with everything that underpins our lifestyles. And, and the fact that they rotate out every three years also gives this kind of thing where you can't have uh, companies, you know, taking over and, and to, you know, inter- influencing one way or the other. It truly creates uh, democratization amongst trusted uh, companies. So I, I thought that was really great. And the way, and, and I position it, Hedera to everybody as you're the blockchain for enterprise and we're focused on the enterprise first knowing that the creators will want the same level of security and of speed. I, yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. I, I was wondering if you could just comment on some of the industries and areas you're seeing businesses sure. start to adopt. Certainly. We work with Samsung. We've actually done the last four of their product launches. Um, the Note 20, the S20 and 21 the buds and now we just finished the flip and fold and basically we've created these beautiful animations in 3d that the fold opens up and you can see it and you can press the buttons on it it's really beautiful i, I wish i could share it it's but it's an internal link but it's really super beautiful it's imagine if a samsung video ad came to life and you could actually move it around yourself it'll be in the public very soon yeah. i'll just leave that at that metaverse is a web-based low-code 3d creation platform The Metaverse team aims to become the leading game engine on the web, which will lead to the creation and building of global communities of creators, designers and developers. As mentioned in the clip, Metaverse has direct involvement in building enterprise-grade Metaverse virtual reality experiences for huge companies worldwide, namely Samsung. The Metaverse-Samsung collaboration has seen Metaverse actively create and develop virtual reality experiences for Samsung's new flip phone offering. With Metaverse now directly utilising the Hedera consensus service, the Metaverse company will use the network in development surrounding the design and building of virtual reality applications. Furthermore, as stated during the clip with the HBAR Foundation, Metaverse decided to directly leverage the Hedera network over other platforms, namely due to the Hedera network already being the platform of choice for enterprise utility in regards to DLT innovations, and also the scalability and security the platform provides. The Hedera network, through the utility of its hash graph algorithm, is able to facilitate over 10,000 transactions per second. However, the Hedera team have stated on numerous instances that the network could achieve transaction validation rates that can surpass those seen in Visa and MasterCard. Mance, today, could Hedera manage the volume of transactions like we see with Visa or MasterCard? Uh, If the numbers that I've read are accurate, the answer is yes. So I've seen numbers that suggest that on average, uh, Visa or MasterCard process somewhere between 4,500 and 5,000 TPS. We could absolutely manage that today if those numbers are accurate, yes. The Hedera network is also the most secure DLT on the marketplace, whereby the network provides asynchronous Byzantine fault tolerance. The high degree of security provided by the Hedera network, as stated by the Metaverse team, will provide trust and transparency in instances surrounding enterprise utility. This factor will ensure that enterprises will be able to actively validate transactions at scalable levels, whilst also ensuring such actions aren't at risk of being infiltrated and or compromised. With Metaverse now utilising the Hedera network, and with the organisation in cooperation with the likes of Samsung, offerings and developments Metaverse may implement will see the Hedera network being directly utilised. 
as more enterprises leverage the Hedera network, either directly or indirectly, in the case of Samsung. Hedera will see its network continuing to be the go-to platform for DLT projects. This will lead to Hedera becoming a household name amongst enterprises and corporations in a number of industries in years to come. Hedera was also featured in an article looking at the most eco-friendly cryptocurrencies. The article outlined Hedera's innate features, namely its Hashgraph algorithm, and how this DLT innovation overcomes the restrictions associated with proof-of-work DLTs, namely greatly reducing the consumption of electricity per transaction, whilst maintaining a high throughput. The findings in this article are given further validity by a paper published by the globally accredited university UCL, which outlined the most eco-friendly DLTs on the marketplace. The paper ranked the Hedera network as the most eco-friendly amongst DLTs and even more eco-friendly compared to the payment processor giants Visa and Mastercard. Hedera's network consumes significantly less energy to process transactions compared to the payment processor giants Visa, whereby Visa consumes 0.003 kilowatts of energy per hour per transaction. This is in contrast to the Hedera network, whereby Hedera, through the leveraging of Hashgraph technology, uses 0.0001 kilowatts of energy per transaction. Hedera's impressive energy consumption capabilities, which puts it ahead over the likes of the payment processor giant Visa, makes it a standalone project to not only have the capability of processing tremendous levels of transactions per second, but also carrying out such actions in an eco-friendly nature. As global industries move towards more green and renewable energy sources, more enterprises and organisations alike may turn to the Hedera network for DLT developments, especially over the long run. What are your thoughts on Hedera? What do you foresee for Hedera in 2022? Let us know your views in the comments below. Join us on Telegram and Twitter where we talk all things crypto. The links to the channels will be in the description below. Thank you for watching.